Thanks, Scott. So you're developing a new application, and you've asked your IT department for a new database. How long before you can start using it? Is it hours? Is it days? I've waited weeks. I have waited weeks. Well, the great news is that with Azure, you can have the most intelligent database on the planet in less than a minute. We'll just connect to Azure, and either programmatically, and we're going to connect in the portal, and select the new Azure SQL database. Give your database a name. Choose a server and a region. It's available in every region in Azure. And then choose the level of resources you want to give your, your database. You can change your mind at any time in the future, increase and decrease computes without any database downtime. And that's it. From here, we'll just click Create. And we're now connecting to Azure through the management API. And it's provisioning a new database as a service. This is not a virtual machine. I don't need to manage any infrastructure. Azure takes care of all of that for me. Right now, it's standing up three redundant servers. So I have high availability if a server or a disk goes down. It's wiring up DNS. It's encrypting my disk by default, enabling transparent data encryption. It's also setting up a number of additional features like backup, point in time restore, threat detection, and, and many other features. And this is running the latest version of SQL Server. In fact, we've been running SQL Server 2017 in the service for over a year. That means I have access to the most modern database features available. You have to admit, this is impressive. In much less than a minute, I have access to the industry-leading SQL Server delivered as a service. I don't have to manage any infrastructure, and I have access to all the latest modern features. Now, because this is SQL Server, I can also connect to it with all of my common tools I'm, used to, I'm familiar with, things like Visual Studio, SQL Server Management Studio. Now, many of you, like I am today, are using a Mac as your primary development environment. Today, we invite you to download the new SQL Operation Studio. This is a free cross-platform database development and management tool, and it runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac environments. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? You can set up your own custom dashboard so you can monitor your SQL Server assets. In fact, I can connect to any SQL Server on-prem or in the cloud. Now, because this is based on Visual Studio Code, I get all that same rich development experience that you'd expect. You can see the rich text development. Whoops. Including IntelliSense. Now, we're also coupling that rich developer experience with the, uh, with the experience that you need when you're doing uh, database development. And that includes those rich uh, uh, explain plans so that you can go in and debug your code and understand and optimize how you're designing your code and indexes in SQL Server. Now, speaking of database code, I've often released, and I'm sure you've had that experience to release updates, and sometimes it degrades performance. I mentioned earlier that this is the most intelligent database on the planet. Coming back out to Azure, we're going to connect to an existing database. And in the portal, if I scroll down, I have access to a full range of performance insights. Azure is continuously monitoring the query activity and producing reports of the top queries that are consuming resources. I can identify those top queries and drill into those queries and improve those uh, performance issues. In fact, Azure continuously monitors all of my database activity. It's using machine learning on my database workload to understand where to improve performance and providing recommendations on those improvements. I can take these improvements, and I can uh, select the scripts that Azure gives me. I can apply them directly on my database using Operation Studio, Management Studio. I can also let Azure apply these directly for me, automatically apply them 
Azure can auto-tune auto my database. That's intelligence. Now, Azure includes a number of features that give me uh, confidence in the performance, in the security, and the availability of my database. Azure is the only cloud that provides this complete database as a service. I'm going to hand it back to Scott. Thanks. So one of the great new tools that Lara demoed was our new SQL Operations Studio. You know, it's a free tool uh, for modern database operations and supports SQL Server, SQL databases, and our Azure SQL Data Warehouse service. And it runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux machines, uh, allowing you to use it everywhere. And I'm really excited to announce it's available to start downloading and using today. We also have a new Azure Data Migration service that will make it even easier to migrate your existing databases to use our new Azure SQL Database as a service that Laura just showed. Uh, the Data Migration Service streamlines moving existing database systems to Azure and provides a fully automated workflow to do so, both for existing SQL Server databases as well as for non-Microsoft database systems and platforms as well, including Oracle Database uh, as well. And the new Data, mi data Migration Service, um, combined with new capabilities that we're adding to our SQL database uh, offering this year, is going to make it trivially easy to migrate literally any SQL Server database uh, to run inside the cloud without having to change any code in your applications and have a seamless near zero downtime migration experience and be able to take advantage of all those amazing productivity capabilities uh, that Laura just demoed. And what I'd like to do is hand it back to Laura to actually show off migrating a real SQL database uh, into the cloud using our SQL database service and data migration wizard. Here's Laura. Thanks, Scott. All right, so many of you have applications and they're powered by SQL Server. Um, and there are a class of, and you want to modernize these applications and move them to the cloud. But many of these applications have complex data requirements. Things like, they, they, they require things like cross database joins or SQL agent or CLR. Well, the great news is that all of these are now going to be supported in the uh, Azure SQL DB managed instance that will be coming soon. I'm going to show you how this works with the database migration service and move an existing application up to the cloud. So I've got Stack Overflow, and this is running locally on my laptop. And this is connecting to uh, uh, two databases. And if we scroll down, you can see that it's connected to two databases that are hosted on SQL Server 2008R2. The application requires cross-database joins to render these views. And because of that, in the past, I haven't been able to take advantage of the PaaS database service. Well, I'd like to migrate this to the new Azure SQL DB managed instance, and we're going to do that using the database migration service that Scott just spoke about. This is a very easy to use tool. It's very intuitive. You start by giving it the name of your source database. In my case, it's a SQL Server 2008R2 environment running in my data center, and uh, we're connected to that now. Next, we point it to this, the destination. This is my Azure SQL DB managed instance, and I created that earlier this morning. Now, this uh, supports other sources. It can support Oracle, MySQL, as well as any supported version of SQL Server. I connect to the two, I selected two databases. As I mentioned, I require cross database joins. There are two databases for my application. We're going to select both databases to be migrated. And finally, I, I need a temporary storage location. Uh, the service is going to use this during the migration as it's migrating the uh, database objects up to the cloud. So we'll just wait for this to do validation, and that's it. So from here, we'll just give our project a name and run migration, and we're connecting to the cloud. So right now, the service is backing up the databases on my source. It's moving those backups and migrating them to the cloud. This is a very uh, intelligent service. It supports multiple scale models. It can support everything from megabyte-sized databases all the way up to multi-terabyte-sized databases, all with minimal downtime. In the project, if we click Refresh, we can see that just in a few seconds, we've already completed our migration, and our databases are now modernized into a PaaS database service in the cloud. 
That was pretty quick. We're going to go back to our application. So I've got my application, and if we come out here, um, I'm going to change my connection string. And I'm just going to point it now to my Azure SQL DB managed instance that we just migrated. And we're going to run this locally, and we connected. I made no changes to my application. All I did was change my connection string. If we scroll down, you can see that we're connected to Azure SQL DB managed instance. That's pretty impressive. So in just a couple of minutes, we were able to modernize our database environment. We've migrated up to the cloud. And now we have all the advantages of scale, performance, management, and that advanced intelligence that you only get when you run SQL Server in Azure. I'm going to hand it back to Scott. Thank you. <laughs>